they have finally done it everybody binding offers are coming to depop this is not a joke this is not clickbait this is not a rumor it is confirmed i myself can confirm that binding offers have been sent to me don't freak out if you're on depop you're a seller you're a buyer and you're like i don't have these binding offers what's going on it will take a while for them to fully roll them out if you guys know depop they like to test things with certain buyers certain sellers but they are confirmed coming and in this video i want to kind of talk through what we do know about binding offers so far so if you guys like vintage thrifting and depop content make sure to subscribe to the channel my name is jackson with love is vintage and let's just get into it but before we get into it shout out to you guys because check this out we got a new cam and it's got that auto tracking the quality is crazy i used this in my previous video to show off my horror tea collection a thrifting video so the camera quality has been fully upgraded and it's all thanks to you guys thank you guys so much for supporting the content over here and on instagram i'm going to be using this camera a lot it has made my life so much easier and that's thanks to you guys for supporting the content so drop a like on the video and let's get into talking about some depop stuff some binding offers and a few other things i wanted to talk about as well possible bands and suspensions a lot of like stuff like that's been going on on depop recently including to myself so i want to talk about that a little bit so again if you guys like depop content thrifting content vintage content make sure to subscribe let's get into It. All right, so like I said, confirmed via me. A few weeks ago, I noticed that I accepted an offer and they immediately paid. Like as soon as I accepted it, the item sold. And I was like, what's going on here? And then I went to go buy an item recently and it gave me the option. Here is what it looks like. It says priority offer or standard offer, which I personally think is kind of dumb that they're like making people choose or maybe this is like them trying to transition over. But as we talked before in some of my videos, Depop's buyer base is kind of like a younger, age so maybe they don't understand what a binding offer is and i feel like if binding offers do become permanent we are probably going to see a lot of people being like i didn't mean to buy that so this is maybe kind of like testing out how it's going to be for people but we have this priority offer if the seller accepts the item is yours and you'll be charged immediately or we have the standard offer which is what we've been dealing with for like over a year or so if the seller accepts you'll have 24 hours to buy like i said when i went to buy something recently it gave me these options and sometimes you'll have offers come through that they only have an accept or a decline they do not have a counter option and that typically means that if you do hit the accept button that the item will be sold and the money will go straight to you it'll be a sale so that's a crazy update on depop people have been begging for binding offers for since they came out and it looks like they're listening because they're finally putting it into motion super excited about it let's just read this reddit post shout out to scorpion planet 777 i never really go on the depop reddit but maybe i can make these videos like weekly reoccurring videos where i kind of just go through depop updates scroll the depop reddit stuff like that if you guys like that idea make sure to drop a like let me know in the comments but right here we do have the post i'm sure most have seen the new update regarding the offer system as a seller i think this is a step in the right direction all offers should have been binding from the start it's frustrating getting an offer getting excited about someone's interested in an item only to accept it and the buyer not to make the purchase i've seen arguments for it being a good way for buyers to come back later to purchase when they're ready but i believe the buyer should wait or message the seller in that case to communicate their situation something else that i've seen as a concern for sellers is that buyers will begin unknowingly purchasing items since the binding option is now the default this is what i just talked about it is already selected when you click offers so sellers what do you plan on doing in the case that the buyer wants a refund for this do you believe it is their mistake for not double checking and would you refuse a refund or do you believe depop should have made the change more clear and refund in that case i think this may become even more frustrating than the offering and not purchasing especially if it becomes frequent but i want to know what everyone else thinks yeah like what do you guys think because i would rather have someone make me a million offers and never pay and I can just know they're a flake and not entertain their offers anymore than be getting offers accepting them and immediately having people be like oh I didn't know it would charge me I feel like that might be a potential big issue but let me know what you guys think in the comments below this is the newest update though with binding offers this was posted seven days ago so by the time this video goes out it's been like a week and a half since this has been live I think I started getting like binding offers around two weeks ago so it's a very very new thing and I think that Depop should definitely implement it into their system but like with anything else there's probably going to be drawbacks so again let me know what you guys think in the comments below i did want to talk about a few other things depop related there are a lot of depop bans going on and i wanted to talk about this so depop has been banning not just like removing items suspending and banning people it actually happened to someone in my discord and a lot of people have been getting their items removed that are like this i don't really want to say the phrase out loud because of all the connotations that it has and everything but obviously this is an old 
team, you know, and they've since updated and changed their name because this phrase is not exactly uh, completely appropriate in today's times. So they have been banning people though for posting these vintage items, you know, these items from the 90s, which their team name was that at one point. It's an interesting thing going on. I don't want to get like too deep into it. If you guys want to like talk about it in the comments, go crazy. I do think that it is a little bit harsh on Depop's in to be banning people for posting these items. Like I did get a, not a ban, but I did get one of my items deleted. And this is a different instance, but something that I've been seeing a lot recently on Depop is people have been getting suspended, their items removed, and mine in particular, I'll put a picture up on the screen right now. It was a she comic-like tea, and she's holding I what I think is like the Japanese flag. It's some sort of like flag, but it's a flag, right? And I think that Depop has like AI bots or something like looking for like certain types of flags. And I think they might have thought that it was a different flag. AI or something within Depop triggered it and my item immediately got deleted. And they told me if I tried to re-upload it, I could face a ban. I actually did reach out to Depop to try to talk to somebody. And I was like, hey, can you actually just tell me why this item got deleted? Like I've been a top seller for five years with you guys. I don't get my items deleted often. Can you just explain to me like what is going on here? Because I don't see anything wrong with this t-shirt. And the person that responded to me was actually really rude they were like we've made our decision like don't email us about this again it's final like you need to review our policies it was kind of boilerplate but also just like i could tell an actual person like typed it depop's customer service in the past has been pretty helpful to me i don't really like that it puts a bad taste in my mouth like a lot of people are kind of like talking about this and a lot of people like i said have been catching bans and stuff like that or suspensions some other things i did want to talk about really quick is that i will put up another screenshot they have a new like good deal tag on some of your items if you have items listed for like below the market value, not market value, but before like the average value of items on Depop. Say you post a Harley T, you post it for 10 bucks, like the average is around 20. You should get this good deal tag. I've seen it on my listings. I've seen it on other listings. I don't think it's like a great improvement to Depop, but it's something that maybe will incentivize buyers to like pick your item over other items. So that's a new feature that I've seen in the past couple days. Something else really quick. If you guys do use Depop on desktop, I have noticed that they did away with the remove uh, sold item and the rearrange your depop shop so as you can see we have some sold items here that i listed in the past few days and you can't move them down i know on the app it automatically moves things down but on the desktop it's a little bit different and on the desktop it's really nice to be able to hit that rearrange items button and be able to kind of drag your items around you can't do that anymore so i don't know if this is like a recent change if it's a bug what's going on but it's been like this the past few days so i figured i would mention it so that's basically it if you guys have any questions i have been a full-time top seller on depop for the past five years you can drop a comment below let me know what you think about it down below. And for everybody waiting for a shipping video, a Depop shipping video, it is in the works. I will get that out in the next couple weeks. I've had a bunch of people ask me, how do you do your shipping on Depop? Never made a video about it before, but I'll make a video about that soon. Make sure to subscribe so you guys don't miss it. And I will catch you guys in the next one. This was Jackson with Love This Vintage. Peace out, you guys. No way. I just... I just recorded a whole intro and my mic wasn't on. No, and it was so good. I did it in one take, bro. We got to run it back. That's crazy.